confront the owner, she takes off with the side door wide open. Now we want to know why police have not done more to stop her. New tonight, 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen is live. And Jacqueline, police have had three chances to take the dogs. Yeah, police here in Greeley tell me it was a judgment call. She had a plausible story. They decided to believe he, her. But tonight, we're finding out more about what this woman who was driving around with the U-Haul filled with 15 dogs was really up to. Van, dogs, didn't please tell when we tried to ask Lynn Robbins about what she was doing with the dogs in her U-Haul, she was in such a hurry to get away, she sped off, side door still open. I thought it was odd. Someone was selling dogs out of a U-Haul van. Kayla Conway knows what was going on, though, because a man approached her here a few days ago and pointed at that U-Haul. And he said, um, would you be interested in buying any shih tzu mixes from like two to five years old? Police records obtained by 7 News show officers caught Robbins three times in the last nine days. The first time, records show more than 15 dogs were locked in the van, temperatures inside at 107 degrees. But Greeley police defend the decision not to seize the dogs. On the spectrum of whether to seize the dogs, sometimes it's really close. And I would say that this was really close. Uh, but it just didn't quite get over the edge. Police say Robbins claimed she was moving and looking for a shelter with space. It's absolutely incorrect. We Elaine Hicks with the Humane Society of Weld County says they were never contacted. She's worried these dogs could spread disease and has suspicions about why they were brought to Greeley. In Evans and Greeley, it is not an ordinance. Um, and so people can sell out of the back of the cars or in parking lots. So that is something that I would like to get changed in this community. Do you think the police dropped the ball by not confiscating these animals? I wasn't there, so I can't say. The only thing that I can say is, is that we were prepared for the animals if they were to come here. Now, Greeley police did ticket her another time with animal neglect charges. They say if they catch her a fourth time, it's a zero tolerance policy. Now, tonight I checked with U-Haul, and Robbins is supposed to return that van tomorrow. And U-Haul says no one is supposed to put any animals in the back of a van, and so she will not be allowed to rent from U-Haul ever again. Reporting live, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News.